Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 50 of this WWE 2K17 Did You Know series in which today we're going to be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know about WWE 2K17. Did you know there are unique animations that take place when attacking your opponent during entrance breakouts? This is one that a lot of people have submitted over the past few months, therefore I thought I'd include some of the more unique ones, starting out with Shinsuke Nakamura, as should you attack Shinsuke while he's stretching on the turnbuckle, then you'll be treated to this unique animation. Next up comes Dolph Ziggler, as should you try to grapple Dolph while he's leaning through the ropes, then you'll see this outcome take place. In a similar fashion, next up we have Alexa Bliss, and should you try to grapple her while she's sitting on the apron, then your superstar will pull her through the ropes by the hair. On thin ice here. Next up we have The Rock, and should you attack the People's Champ during his iconic turnbuckle pose, then you'll cause him to fall down to the outside. Finally, the last one of these comes with Sami Zayn, as should you attack Zayn while he's posing on the steps, then you'll see this unique animation. Did you know it's possible to perform the Shield's triple powerbomb OMG moment in one-on-one -on -one matches? This one comes from Price Vegeta, who reveals it's possible to perform the Shield's triple powerbomb OMG in singles matches when playing as Roman Reigns and selecting both Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins as your managers. Using this method, once you gain a finishing move, knock your opponent to the floor, and then you'll notice the OMG prompt appear, which, when pressed, will see you execute the triple powerbomb. Alternately, should one of your managers get ejected, then you can actually still perform the move, however it will be performed as a double powerbomb rather than a triple powerbomb. Finally, should both of your managers get ejected from ringside, then again it's still possible to pull off the move, albeit a little bit glitchy, as Roman uses the force to lift his opponent into position before delivering the move himself. Did you know there are multiple cutscenes that take place when selecting a run-in with a specific weapon at a specific point? This one comes from Eternal Gaming, who reveals that there are multiple cutscenes that play when running in with weapons, both from the stage, the ramp, and the crowd areas, therefore here is a complete compilation of all the different cutscenes available. Did you know there are multiple moves included in the game that feature superstar audio when used with that specific star? 
This one comes from future WWE star who reveals that certain moves have unique audio taunts included when used by the superstar that they were created for. Therefore, today we're going to be covering those specific moves. First up, we'll have Paige, who when performing her rope hung knee lift, can be heard delivering her signature scream. Next up, we'll have Big Cass with the Empire Elbow. And finally, we'll have the Usos, as should you perform their corner hip attack, then you can actually hear them getting the crowd involved as they shout, Us! Did you know it's possible to perform moves on top of vehicles that have been added in Korean Arena? This one comes from Moritrox, who reveals a pretty cool trick that allows players to perform moves on top of the vehicles placed in the entranceway, such as the red sports car, when playing in arenas with a raised stage. To do this, you'll first want to create an arena with a sports car or any other prop that you want to do moves onto, and then place them at the side of the entrance featuring a raised stage. What you'll then want to do is select the LCD board prop and place this in the area shown on screen. Once you've done this, save your arena and load up a false count anyway or extreme rules match in your custom arena and head to the backstage area by going through the entrance at the Minitron. Once you're backstage, run through the area and exit through the door at the top which will take you back to ringside, however when reappearing in the arena you should find yourself floating in the air allowing you to pull off some devastating looking attacks on top of the vehicles that you added to ringside. So there you go guys, that brings us to the end of today's video and possibly the end of this WWE 2K17 Did You Know series. I hope you've enjoyed it, it's been an absolute pleasure to make, it's been so good and I just want to thank everyone that has submitted suggestions for the series, without you it would not be possible. But again, continue submitting things, if you've got any hints, secrets, easter eggs, anything that you would like us to feature, if I do do any more episodes in the future, then make sure to leave them in the comments and I will try and put them together if I do any bonus episodes. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video though, all I want to say is a big thank you to everyone for supporting it, but make sure to subscribe, smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified if any more videos are released. Until then, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.